Hello friends, my name is Bharat. Call sign is Victor Uniform 2, November Foxtrot Kilo. This video is in a series of videos which will help you in passing the ASOC examination to become a ham. If you don't know what a ham radio operator is, I'll put the link somewhere around here uh, which describes what ham radio is and I'm sure you'll be uh, amazed by what ham radio is and you'll come back to this video very quickly. So this video is for the section A of the examination uh, which lets you become a ham uh, so the uh, details of the syllabus for the section B is given in another video and in this video we will be covering the syllabus details for the section A alone. So uh, my views on this syllabus is that uh, the syllabus is uh, extremely uh, important and uh, necessary for being a ham. Uh, it gives you all the knowledge or the working knowledge which, which, uh, which will be required in order to operate your instrument or your radio equipments. It starts from the very basics and goes till the point where it makes you just sufficient so that you understand uh, how your equipment is operating and in case of emergencies you might be able to debug your small problems. So let's look at the syllabus in detail. So the first topic is the elementary electricity and magnetism. So in order to understand uh, how, how a radio works and things like that we first need to understand what powers the instrument. So the, element, the, ele, uh, the theory about elementary electricity is very important. The first thing that you uh, read in this topic is the elementary uh, theory of electricity wherein you understand what electricity is. Uh, followed by you understand some of the very basic devices uh, which forms any electrical circuit or the electronic circuit. For example the passive devices like the resistors, inductors, capacitors and the transformer. Uh, you also understand some of the active devices. Uh, if you are not understanding what all these terms means, don't worry. We will again be going into detail of each and every term in the future episodes. So in the active devices like the diodes and the transistors. So these are all the rudimentary, the basic components of the electrical circuit uh, which, uh, which forms the electrical circuit in a complete sense. Uh, then we understand what conductors and uh, insulators are. These uh, are a characteristics of the material or uh, the bifurcation of the material uh, on the basis of its uh, electrical conductivity and we get to know its uses. Then uh, we, uh, we come to this uh, very important law called the Ohm's law. So the Ohm's law uh, basically covers uh, the uh, play between the voltage and the current and the resistance. So a circuit with uh, resistance in it, uh, you'll be able to find what's the voltage and current at different points and it's a very basic and important law that we need to understand. Uh, then comes the Kirchhoff's uh, current and the voltage laws. So uh, these are again the laws which help you analyze any electronic circuit uh, consisting basically of the passive devices. Uh, then we come to the inductance. Uh, inductance is the we come to the definition, uh, we don't need to go much in detail in the syllabus but uh, it just tells you about the definitions of uh, self and the mutual inductance. Then we come to the concept of the power and energy uh, which is at the crux of uh, everything that we do. Uh, every, uh, every human being requires energy to live. Uh, similarly, every device uh, requires energy to operate. So we understand how this energy uh, comes and how do we measure this energy and things like that. Then we understand what are permanent magnets and electromagnets and how they, uh, how they uh, get involved into the ham radio activities. So uh, if uh, in a nutshell basically it gives you the definitions and things of the basic components. So these are like the alphabets uh, if you consider a language so these are like the alphabets for the language. Uh, then we come into the elementary theory of alternating current. Uh, so uh, most of our devices are driven by alternating current or the commercial power supply which comes to your home. Uh, so in this uh, section we understand what alternating current is. So we start off with the uh, sinusoidal alternating quantities. Uh, so uh, the uh, current which comes to our uh, supplies uh, are basically alternating current which forms which are waves uh, which act like sinusoidal, which are actually sinusoidal waves. So we understand some of the char characteristics of a sinusoidal wave, uh, followed by concepts on a uh, phase, reactance, impedance, and power factor. Uh, parallel and series circuits uh, are again uh, the topics where we analyze how a circuit can be, uh, how a circuit consisting of passive devices 
in the presence of alternating current behave and we can analyze how the circuits uh, how the distribution of current happens in different uh, parts of the circuit uh, then we come to a very important thing uh, that is called the rectifiers uh, and voltage regulation and smoothing circuits uh, so most of our radios are actually driven by direct current uh, but is often supplied by alternating current so the the device which converts this alternating current to the direct current is called rectifier and hence uh, it's very important for us to understand uh, how uh, what's a rectifier and how good a rectifier is uh, so this uh, completes the very basics of uh, the radio equipment so now we are able to understand the basic components followed by uh, the powering in of the uh, radio Uh, then we come to the elementary theory of semiconductor devices uh, so semiconductors are another type of material uh, which uh, which has an uh, conductiv conductivity property somewhere between the insulators and the conductors and nowadays it's found almost everywhere the computer chips uh, that you use uh, even the camcorder with which i am recording are all made of semicon uh, semiconductor devices uh, so more and nowadays more and more radios are becoming uh, semiconductor device oriented uh, compared to the earlier valves oriented uh, devices so uh, in the earlier syllabus uh, we used to have valves which has been now replaced by a semiconductor as the uh, technology in fact has replaced almost most of the valve devices so here we learn about diodes and uh, transistors in a little detail and we come to some simple circuits like the amplifier circuits oscillators detectors frequency changes and etc Uh, so uh, what we are learning so far is in uh, as we have learned the alphabets now we are uh, starting to make words out of it so we make very simple circuits here uh, and we start understanding how the letters can be combined to make uh, words which mean something now that we have made words now we start making sentences uh, with uh, radio receivers so radio receiver is a complete system uh, which uh, receives electromagnetic waves demodulates and Uh, gives you uh, gives out some useful uh, information so possibly you might be able to listen to some music or receive some data so uh, at the crux of ham radio it's about communicating using a radio and a uh, radio consists of two parts one part is the receiver and the other is the transmitter so in this section we learn about the receivers Uh, starting with the very simple uh, tuned radio frequency receiver uh, we understand the concepts of uh, that kind of a receiver followed by the concepts of super heterodyne receiver then we understand uh, some concepts on cw uh, reception which is a continuous wave reception so um, in case uh, if you are stuck in an emergency situation and you have nothing else with you uh, cw is something which can help you always Uh, so using morse code to transmit uh, and the skill to uh, skill to transmit using a morse code is very essential often in emergency situation so uh, the skill to build a very simple cw receiver is also uh, very essential in that case uh, followed by uh, the receiver characteristics such as uh, sensitivity selectivity fidelity adjacent channel and image uh, interference etc are also important because uh when you go off to buy a radio uh, how do you differentiate between two radios which are given to you uh, something from a cheap brand and a very good brand or in case if you are building your own radio how do you uh, how do you quantify the performance of your receiver so these are the terms which are essential in order to understand uh, the performance of your receiver then we come to the next portion of the radio trans uh, transceiver which is the transmitter so in the transmitter we learn how to build a very simple transmitter or we learn the circuits which make the very simple low power transmitters then a few concepts on crystal oscillators and stability of the oscillators and how it impacts your uh, transmitter's performance we also uh, get some basic knowledge about the construction of uh, semiconductor based transmitters so uh, as we have already learned semiconductors we'll be utilizing utilizing some of the concepts from the semiconductors into the uh, transmitters so now that we have built the radio uh, transmitter and everything so uh, we have uh, by this point we will be able to understand how the power supply works uh, how the power can from this power supply can be converted into a usable form of uh, power uh, which can then be uh, used to make uh, radio receivers and transmitters uh, now in order to understand how far your signal is going to go we need to understand a bit about radio wave propagation so ultimately whatever you do with your radio transmitter and the receiver is all related to radio waves 
So here we understand what radio waves is, what are electromagnetic spectrum. So we understand the characteristics of the radio wave uh, like the uh, wavelength, frequency, frequency bands, etc. Followed by the propagation conditions and the propagation uh, of the radio wave, the modes of propagation. So as a ham radio operator, you are actually allocated frequencies right from the HF uh, to the very uh, VHF, UHF and even super high frequency. And the way these waves propagate in these bands are all uh, different. And to have a very good understanding of uh, this wave propagation is essential in order to operate your uh, instrument effectively. So uh, this is very essential as well. Then finally comes the topic of aerials. Uh, so you have built the radio receiver. Uh, and in order, you also know how the electromagnetic spectrum works. But in order for your signal to move from your uh, radio out into the electromagnetic spectrum, you need a transducer kind of an uh, equipment, an equipment which can uh, which can convert your electrical uh, current and uh, the things inside the radio receiver, uh, the modulated signal to say, uh, and transmit it out to the open space. So that instrument is called the aerial or the antenna. So here we understand about the common types of the transmitting and the receiving uh, antennas here. Then uh, the final uh, topic is the uh, frequency measurement. So uh, whenever you are operating or, or you are building your own receiver, you need to understand at least the basic concepts of frequency measurement. Uh, that's because the government licenses you to use a part of the spectrum. So you need to understand what spectrum is. And then you also need to understand uh, how do you measure uh, the frequency at which you are transmitting. Uh, if you don't do that properly, uh, there is a high chance that you might interfere with some other services which are operating at frequencies which you are not licensed, uh, which is an offense. So uh, paying attention to this topic th is also very important. So here we understand about the measurement of frequency and some fin simple frequency meters. So in a nutshell, as we have seen in the uh, syllabus, it's very uh, utilitarian kind of a syllabus where uh, you understand how the radio is built, uh, you understand how the radio is to be used, you understand how the radio's performance has to be checked and things like that. So uh, I uh, personally feel that we shouldn't be reading this topic just for the sake of passing the examination but to we need to have a very good understanding. So we will be making uh, further videos which describe each of these topics. So in case we are not subscribed to this video, please subscribe so that you get updated by uh, with our latest videos. Uh, thank you and all the best.